Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe Dental Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. Please do support my work with your likes, comments and shares and you can join me on Facebook and Instagram through the links given in the description box. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page. The periodontal ligament or PDL, also known as the alveolar dental ligament, is a fibrous joint that suspends the root of each tooth in its bony socket. The PDL is located in between the two heart tissues of cementum and alveolar bone. Together the cementum, alveolar bone, the gingiva and the periodontal ligament make up the periodontium of the tooth. The PDL fibers are anchored in the cementum on one side up to the alveolar bone on the other side. PDL takes its origin from the dental follicular cells. In order to understand what these dental follicular cells are, please refer to my previous video series on development of a tooth. The link for it is given in the description box and the comment section below. The principal function of PDL is to connect the tooth to the jaw, which it must do in such a way that the tooth will withstand the considerable forces of mastication. This requirement is met by the masses of collagen fiber bundles that span the distance between the bone and the cementum. At one extremity, the fibers of the PDL are embedded in bone and at the other extremity, the collagen fiber bundles are embedded in cementum. The embedded portion or the terminal portion of the PDL fibers, either at the site of the cementum or at the site of the bone, is referred to as Sharpe's fibers. PDL fiber bundles hold the teeth in sprung suspension, meaning that each tooth is capable of small movements in its alveolar bone socket. PDL also has another important function, which is a sensory one, known as proprioception. Tooth enamel is an inner tissue and therefore insensitive. Yet the moment teeth come into contact with each other, we know it. Part of this sense of discrimination is provided by sensory receptors within the PDL, which transmits the proprioceptive stimulus to the brain via the trigeminal ganglion. Let's look at the components of the periodontal ligament. The PDL is a multifunctional unit of connective tissue that contains cellular and extracellular components. The main cells in the cellular component are the fibroblasts, which make the collagen fibers of the PDL. Other cells present are the epithelial rests of molasses, the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells, and some defense cells. The epithelial rests of molasses are the cell rests of Hartwig's epithelial root sheet. The undifferentiated mesenchymal cells, when stimulated and based on circumstances, can give rise to a fibroblast, an osteoblast or a cementoblast. The extracellular matrix consists of fibers, ground substance, rich vasculature, nerves and lymphatics. The fibers are mainly collagen fibers. About 70% of collagen fibers are mainly of type 1. Other types of collagen like collagen type 3 and type 12 may also be present. The ground substance is made up of glycosaminoglycans, proteoglycans and glycoproteins. The collagen fibers are arranged in the form of definite bundles. These collagen fiber bundles are arranged in groups that can easily be seen under a light microscope. Those bundles running between the tooth and bone represent the principal fiber bundles of PDL. These principal fiber bundles are the alveolar crest group, the horizontal group, the oblique group, the apical group and finally the interradicular group. The alveolar crest group is attached to the cementum just below the cemento-enamel junction. It then extends in a downward or apical direction and inserts into the alveolar crest. These fibers resist tilting, extrusive, intrusive and rotational movements.
The horizontal group is located below the alveolar crest group or at the coronal third of the root. It runs at a right angle to the long axis of the tooth and attaches to the alveolar bone just below the crest. These fibers resist horizontal and tipping forces. The oblique group is the most abundant of all groups and makes up about two-thirds of the PDL fibers. They are located at the middle third of the root and runs obliquely from the root to the alveolar bone. These fibers resist vertical and intrusive forces. The apical group radiates from the root apex up to the bone. These fibers resist forces of luxation and tipping movements. And finally, the interradicular group, as the name suggests, is found in between the roots of multi-rooted teeth, running from the cementum into the interradicular bone. These fibers resist forces of luxation, torquing, and chipping movements. Between each group of fibers is a space termed the interstitial space, which is not an actual space. The interstitial spaces are filled with a network of blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatics that maintain the vitality of the periodontal ligament. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please hit the like button and share the video ahead. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notifications on each upcoming video. If you have got any question or suggestion, you may write them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.